Armed violence and insecurity have a profound impact on the lives of millions of people around the globe. Between 2007 and 2012, more than 2.5 million people died violently. Countless others were injured and traumatized. And this is only the direct impact of violence. Research shows that most illegal weapons originate from government stocks, stolen or sold by policemen and soldiers. Others are delivered by foreign powers to rebel groups, or even diverted from the arsenals of international peacekeeping forces. Even the end of war does not mean the threat of illicit firearms is over. Communities which have armed themselves in times of crisis are often reluctant to surrender their weapons. These find their ways to criminals or across porous borders to the arsenals of foreign rebel entities, when combatants and civilians are not disarmed at the end of conflict. As lives are shattered and livelihoods destroyed, the international community needs to strengthen its efforts to stop the illicit trafficking and proliferation of weapons. Agreeing on better controls for the manufacturing and the transfer of weapons, as set out in the Arms Trade Treaty, as well as a mechanism to impose effective sanctions on conflict parties, is crucial. The marking of weapons improves accountability and allows law enforcement agencies to trace them back to their original owners. At the local level, civilian arms control needs to be combined with community development programs to ensure that the structural causes of conflict are addressed simultaneously. Women must be included in such initiatives to ensure their effectiveness. No disarmament is possible as long as the population does not have trust in the security forces, so linkages to security sector reform efforts need to be strengthened. The UN Programme of Action adopted in 2001 and the Arms Trade Treaty passed in 2013 together have created a powerful framework to guide the international community in its struggle to eradicate the threat of illicit weapons. In September 2015, the Sustainable Development Goals were adopted to create a global agenda for change, stressing in target number 16 the need to assist conflict-affected countries in their struggle to reduce armed violence. It is time to act and to renew global efforts for humanitarian disarmament.